Okay, now we're going to take a look at where in the major scale we get these different chord qualities from. The major seven chord comes is based on the first note of the scale. The dominant seven chord that we talked so much about with the blues uh, piece is uh, based on the fifth note of the major scale. And then we're going to talk also about the minor seven chord, which is based on the second note of the scale. So let's review. Here's the um, major seven chord. Alright, so if we just take our C major scale, all the white keys, all naturals, um, and take the first note, the third note, the fifth note, and the seventh note, we get a C major seven chord. Okay, now in the same scale, if we move up to the fifth note, which is G, and we play the first, third, fifth, and seventh notes from G, we get this sound. Now you'll notice the third of the chord is still major, but when we get to the seventh, it's not a major sound like we had earlier. With the C major seven chord, we had this sound. With the G sound, we have the seventh lowered and so we get the dominant chord that we've been talking about. So if from any scale you're using, if you start on the fifth note of the scale and play the root, third, fifth, and seventh, you will get the dominant chord of that key. If we start on the second note of the scale, we're in the key of C, so we start on D and again play the root, the third, the fifth, and the seventh of that chord, we get a minor seven chord. And again, regardless of the key you're in, if you start on the second note of that scale, you're gonna get a minor seven chord. Now, some people think of it a different way. They think of it as, if, we're, if we have the G scale, if we had a major seven, we'd have the F sharp, so we're, we're flatting the seventh or lowering the seventh a half step to get a dominant seven chord. For the minor seven chord, if, uh, if we're in the key of D, a D major seven chord would be D, F sharp, A, and C sharp. So we're lowering the seventh and we're lowering the third to get our minor seven chord. So that's really two ways you can think about arriving at dominant seven chords and minor seven chords. You can think of the key we're in and think of it as the five of that key or you can think of it as, the t for the minor seven chord, think of it as the two of that chord, and it will give you the correct notes. Or, for the dominant chord, you can think of lowering the seventh from a major chord, and you have the dominant seven. And for the minor seven, you're lowering the seventh and lowering the third. And we'll talk a little bit more about that um, in the jazz theory end of things, but just so you know, that's where we're, that's kind of how these all relate to the major scale. So if we have the one chord, we have the major sound. If we have the five chord, we have the dominant sound. And the two chord, we have the minor seven sound. And we can go back to the dominant. And finally the, and that sounds like it ends. That's the, the tonic of that key. So it ends on the one chord. So experiment with, in different keys, can you find the dominant chords and the minor seven chords that occur naturally in all of the different keys. Take a look at those and see what you think.